Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I want to talk to you guys about how to find trending products via a tool called Google Trends. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Um, for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I do a monthly video on trends from Etsy rank and um, I just wanted to go through a couple other tools that I use to help find trending products because I know sometimes this can be a struggle for people. And one thing that I do commonly use is Google Trends. Um, this is a very powerful tool, especially if you uh, have Etsy offsite ads, which includes Google. This will definitely help you with not only finding trending items, but also, you know, SEO and things of that nature. So I'm going to head over to my computer screen and I'm going to run through a few examples. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below and we will go from there. So let's get started. Okay. So I do have um, <clears throat> Google Trends popped up here and you just have to go to trends.google.com uh, to get there and you can kind of use this in a few different ways, right? Um, you know, you can use the Explore, which is basically searching uh, or you can go through trending searches. If you click on trending searches, this is going to give you a very broad overview of what people are searching for. Um, and really, it's more of like the real-time, day-to-day uh, popular searches on Google that relate to things like, uh, you know, current events and things that are kind of going, I guess, quote-unquote viral. And sometimes when you go through these, you can, in fact, find uh, trending topics that you may be able to design for. Now, I did go through this a little bit. Uh, before I started the video to see if anything kind of popped out um, but there wasn't anything that was like yeah you should kind of design towards this so um, the daily search trends did not help me I will say that sometimes though there is a pop of like you know current events that you may want to look towards designing to just keep in mind that you want to kind of steer away from uh, any type of name brands or uh, popular people I guess because you could potentially be infringing on some sort of copyright or a trademark so I do not recommend that you do want to be careful when you decide what you're designing for and if you have any questions when you do decide on something feel free to drop a comment in the Facebook group and we are more than happy to help you with that so um, you can also click on real-time search trends, and this is really showing you, you know, within the past 24 hours, uh, what people are also looking for, okay? Um, and it looks like, um, interestingly enough, there's a Black Cat Appreciation Day. So, maybe you want to get some Black Cat designs out there. It kind of goes hand-in-hand hand with Halloween right now, uh, coming up, you know, this Saturday. And so, it's just something you may want to consider. All right. Um, you can also change, you know, your country of origin um, if you so wish. All right. But for the purpose of this video, we really want to focus on the explore tool. So usually what I will do is I will start with, um, you know, SVG and I will hit enter. Now the default settings um, is worldwide. So you may want to just change this to the United States. And this is looking at trending over the past 12 months. Okay. You can also look here, web search, image search, news search, Google shopping, and YouTube search. I'm gonna keep it at web search just for now so you guys can see the difference. And basically when you scroll down, it will give you an interest by subregion, but also when you go down, it will give you your related queries. And it will show you different things that people have been searching for over the past 12 months um, and what is the more popular uh, search terms okay so you can see we've been loaded with coronavirus all of 2020 and this is one of the top searches over 2020 so you may very well want to continue on that train though it is a little bit washed out okay and if you notice here they have these trend bars does that look familiar to any of you guys 
those trend bars are actually what Etsy rank uses for their trending as well um, over their monthly trends. So um, there are some similarities between Etsy rank and Google Trends. OK, they pull a lot of their data from here. But for the purposes of this, what we're going to do is we're going to break this down and we're going to click on the past 30 days. OK, and when you scroll down, what that will do is it will show you uh, related queries and you can see that there's M&M SVG, Among Us SVG, and these two are trademark copyright issues. So you do not want to design anything related to M&Ms or Among Us because that is somebody else's brand and you have the potential of getting your Etsy shops shut down if you have those products in your shop. Okay, uh, Mom Life SVG is up 250%. Uh, Grinch SVG, Cheetah Print SVG, which I think is interesting. Um, breast Cancer, obviously, with October being Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, Merry Christmas SVG, Free Christmas SVG, Free Halloween SVG files. Okay, and you can just go through these and see uh, what people are searching for uh, based off of the past 30 days. If you want to drill down even further, you can look for the past seven days, and this is going to give you a weekly trend. And if you go down, you can see more specific uh, searches. And I apologize for some of the crass language here. Um, that personally doesn't bother me because I have a potty mouth, but um, you know, it just says F2020 SVG, which I got to agree with whoever's searching uh, for that particular term because I'm not a huge fan of this year so far and I'm really hoping 2021 is a good change for us, okay? Uh, you can see a lot of these are Christmas related. Uh, some We still have face mask on the up and up. Um, there is a lot of trademark and copyright in here. So make sure that you are sorting through that, okay? But you can go through here and look and basically determine what people are looking for on Google. That's indicative of what is going to sell in your shop because people are already looking for this, okay? Um, if you use this tool like once a week before you start designing, it's very helpful for you to get very viral, potentially viral products in your shop, which will increase traffic, it will increase sales, it will increase your conversion rate, and therefore it will bump your other listings up in search because Etsy's saying, hey, People are buying from the shop, so we're going to bump their listings up in the search because they obviously have good quality products, okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, really, that's like the basic, um, the basic gist of how to use Google Trends. I'm not going to keep this ridiculously long. I mean, you can really search for anything on here and get some accurate trend data. Now, one thing that you can also do that I did not mention is you can actually click on image search. And this is interesting because you will see changes in, and I'm going to do it over the past 12 months, changes in what people are searching for. So I will say that um, most of these look like they're basically the same from that 12 month range. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it down to 30 days, okay, and scroll down. And you can see that this has drastically changed for just the image image search, okay? So some people who are searching for SVGs on Google do not go directly to the search bar to search. They will go to images.google.com, and this is where that um, search information comes from, okay? So you can also do that route. Um, I personally just use the web-based search. I feel like I get better information um, from this. And you can see that this actually has 16 queries versus the four that we just saw on the image search. But it's good to look at both because there could be some differences and this can give you some more information for your um, design techniques. Now, you obviously don't have to use the this. So if you do printable wall art, okay, and hit enter, over the past 30 days, you can see that this is up trending. Um, and I mean, it doesn't have any related queries, but um, maybe just wall art instead of printable wall art would be helpful. Um, and then you can go down and yeah, you can see some stuff that is up trending in uh, 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 wall art. So just get creative with their searches depending on what your, your end product is going to be. Um, and you can really utilize this tool to find trending products that's going to help you um, increase traffic and your conversion rate and in turn increase your sales on Etsy just by using this one tool before you start designing. And I cannot stress this enough, but make sure before you start designing that you are searching the trademark database and you are steering clear of any copyrighted material. 
okay? Um, that's all I got for you guys. If you got something out of this video, please click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if y'all need anything at all, let me know in the comments below or head on over to the Facebook group where we're building a community of like-minded individuals trying to grow their businesses and learn more about digital design. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Have a great day.